Proverbs 4 and 23. Solomon, the street preacher, has given us these words of inspiration because he knew we would be dealing with some stuff. Proverbs 4 and 23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Look at your neighbor. And tell your neighbor says, I'll tell them, say, the issues of my life. Father, we thank and praise you again for the youth and how they have ministered unto us. We thank and praise you for the time that's been put upon their life. For this is the season of praise and honor to you. We thank and praise you for the parents, God, that not only did they support them physically and financially, but spiritually. Thank and praise you for the church of the living God. Have your way in this place. Speak to your people, O oh God, that in the name of Jesus, you'll get the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen. Amen. If I may just talk for a little while. Uh, we're dealing with some stuff right about now. Some of us left home with the issue of an attitude. And you don't believe it. Sometimes when we come to church uh, because we lost something or something didn't go right, we have an issue. And husband and wife know this uh, pretty blatantly because uh, I'm looking for my socks and I don't know where they're at and I need to blame somebody. So here comes first lady walking through the house with her socks on and her stuff together. Where's my sock? I got an, got an issue. So I left home with that issue. Man, she made me 30 minutes late because I couldn't find my sock. Only to go back and look and see that sock was laying right on the dress. I looked over it because I had an issue. And sometimes when you deal with issues, it will make you look over points that you can glean from and even be blessed. The issue is I would have a good job, but. Look at somebody say, but is a condition. Could have a sound mind, but I got some issues. This morning as I looked at this text and I seen that Solomon was telling us some things. And he was saying something short. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Your heart is a functional part of your body. We know the physical heart pumps blood but the spiritual heart holds pressure and if you're walking around here about to blow up you need to get some pressure off of you I made up my mind in this day and time I need balance I'm, I'm not balancing rest I'm not balancing some other things but the one thing I want to balance is my issues I don't want my issues to outweigh my praise I don't want my issue to outweigh my progress. I don't want my issue to outweigh people. Because sometimes you can get so barbated by other things that your issue will wrap you up and you'll be in somebody else's box. He's saying, keep thy heart. In other words, go on the inside. David said, thy word have thy hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. In other words, when I get the word in there, it's going to push some issues out. Because right now, I'm dealing with some issues in this 2020. I got a president that don't want to go out. And when he get out, maybe Corona he's out. I got some issues. I'm not waiting on a stimulus check. I want to be stimulated for elevation. Y'all talk to me this morning. I know we dealing with some issues. Your issues might not be my issue, but you got some issues. Maybe you found your sock. You didn't find your shirt. Jesus talks to us in the New Testament about what are our issues. John 17 and 33, 
Write these texts down. Go home and read them. Hey, look, don't ever just trust the preacher 100%. Go home and read the word and reassure it. The doctors give you a report. Read your doctor's report. They give you some medicine. Read how it says take it. You're taking five and it says take one. You got some issues. You paid the doctor. You say, well, I pay good money in my doctor's office. But guess what? You got to pay attention. John 17 and 33, these things have I spoken unto you that you might have peace. There it is again, peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. The issues of the world didn't weigh Jesus down, and it shouldn't weigh you down. An issue is just an issue. And we deal with issues because, guess what, all of us have little problems that we can't seem to shake. And some of them are small, some of them are big, and some are big and small. You know what I mean by big and small? You make it bigger than it is. Right. Let me tell you an issue. Somebody walked by you. They brushed you and didn't say excuse you. Notice this, I said they didn't say excuse you instead of excuse me. So they had a big issue. 2 Corinthians 4, 17 and 18 say, but our light afflictions are just but for a moment, but it worketh for us a far more exceedingly eternally weight in glory. He said, your issues are light. Look at somebody say light. light. A lot of times we think what we're going through is so deep and so heavy, we'll never come out. But he said, it's a light affliction and it's only for just a moment. Look at somebody say, just a minute. I guarantee you, if you trust God this morning, whatever you're going through and your issues, it's just for a moment. It's not going to be our way. The storm will blow over, even with this corona stuff. That's why you see us wearing masks. That's why you see me saying, stay, 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 stay back, stay back. I want to hug you. I love you. But guess what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Because guess what? Just for a moment, we got to practice good health decisions. And the CDC, we'll listen to them, y'all. They don't know everything, but guess what? I'll listen to them. Sometimes you can know mechanics. They know a little bit, but they don't know it all. Right. And then he says on down a little bit farther, he says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, and the things which are not are eternal. He's saying that we got to hold on to faith, the things that we don't see, because those things are eternal. And what you're looking at, your issue, because you can see it, it's only temporary. Look at somebody say a temporary setback for an overflow blessing. Amen. Overflow blessing. Y'all, I'm getting ready to take my seat because, because I'm dealing with some issues this morning. Maybe there's some folk that don't like me. Maybe there's some folk that don't like you. Look at somebody and say, that's just an issue. Maybe some folk jealous of you. That's just an issue. Maybe some folk that say you can't sing, you can't shout, you can't preach. But look at somebody and say, it's just an issue. See, my issue is going to push me to my overflow. I wish I had somebody to talk to me. Guess what? Because they don't like me, going to make me press a little harder. Because they said I wouldn't make it, I'm going to make it anyhow. My issues are not going to stop my promotion, my perfection, and my production, and my praise. Second point, I'm taking my seat after this one, really. On a real note, I'm, I'm taking my seat, y'all. The second thing you got to do is you got to respond to your issues. Don't cover your issues up because they're going to creep right back to. If you throw dust under the carpet, you're going to have a hump. Jesus and Paul is telling us in the last days we got to deal with some issues. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. He said, this know also that in the last days, y'all corona, presidents tripping. Family tripping, children tripping, church tripping. Sounds like issues. 
Y'all ain't never been to the church in the church tripping a little bit? Oh, come on, y'all be real. Take your, take your suits off for a moment and let's get in the heart right now. Sometimes you can go where you're looking for help and sometimes you can find issues in the midst of looking for some help. He said, in the last day, perilous times shall come. Men shall be more lovers of themselves, covenant, boastful, proud, blasphemy, disobedient to parents. Now, we're having children in church now. Disobedient to parents. I told you what to do. I told you how to come out. And you were disobedient. And now I still got to help you get out. I got some issues. I got some issues. He said, unthankful, unholy, without natural affliction, trice breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fears, despisers of those that do good. I got any good doers in here. Come on, y'all. You ain't got to. Don't shout on your own self, but just say, I know how to live right. I know how to do right. I'm not walking around proud and boastful, unthankful, unholy. It's traitors, heady, high minders, Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Y'all, we got some issues in this world. People love to do other stuff than serve God. I tell you, I'm taking my seat after this. Having a form of godliness. Y'all want me to act a little bit up here. Thus saith the Lord. God of Israel. I'm a holy man. A form of God. But denying the power thereof. When I come to the house of God. I know I need a healing. I know I need deliverance. I got to shake this stuff off. I got some issues I'm dealing with. And guess the only person can help me. Is Jesus the Christ. The blood of Jesus. I got issues. No time to be pretty. No time to be cute. No time to be handsome. I just need to be available to be open to say, Lord, have your way in my heart. Lord, move this issue. Pass this thing. I'm taking my seat, y'all. First Peter 4 and 7 says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. The one issue I don't want to have is to be drunk. Stuck in the trunk. Y'all don't believe that. Drunk in the trunk. You, we hear you trying to get out, but you can't even see the latches right there issue he said and watch unto prayer you see the one thing about when we get an issue the Lord said take everything to God in prayer we like to take our issues to other folk that can't fix your issues they got more issues than you got and you talk about let me bring my issue to you your prayer partner might not be your prayer partner might be your hindrance from getting the prayer through Soon as y'all get off the phone, they hang up. The nerve of him thinking that. He says this in 1 Peter 4 and 7. Fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover a multitude of sins. Y'all love does something to the heart. Look, look, if, if you really allow love to come in your heart, you can forgive people and love them with the sincere. Look, look, he said, and it covers the multitude. If you really want to get covered from sin, the blood covers you, number one. But guess what? Love somebody. God brought you out. Love somebody. They, they keep lying. Love them anyway. Love the lies out of them. He says, notice this, he said, using hospitality one to another 
without grudging. Y'all, the problem we have with issues is, guess what? Grudge hard of me. I give you something, but I really didn't give it to you. I bless you, but I really didn't bless you. I praise you, but I really didn't praise you. Because I had some grudge heartedness in me. Guess what? That little grudge in me, guess what? It stopped my sins from being covered because guess what? I couldn't help you get uncovered. Y'all, I, 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 I got to stop right here because we got some stuff to deal with this afternoon and I want to have plenty of time. But y'all, I'm telling you, we're dealing with some issues, y'all. Look, look here, look here, y'all. We got, we're getting ready to have a transfer of power to the Democratic president. But we got the Republicans that's fighting, doing everything they can because they got issues. And their issues, I want to say this on the closing note, other people's issues can't affect your issues. But let me say this, I, I'm thanking God for that text that was read earlier. Isaiah 54 and 17 says this, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against thee shall be condemned. For this is the heritage of, of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness of me, said Lord. Guess what? Even if I got some issues, guess what? The devil can't rise up against it because it's in God's hand to deliver me. Y'all stand with me. I got to stop right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Because see, the, the third point was, was going to be my issues is going to move me closer to God. Anybody know what a friend we have in Jesus? All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. That when I cry, he hears my cry. When I'm going through. I give him a praise anyway. Anybody going to praise him for the storm? You're going to praise him when you're going through it. You're going to praise him when you come out of it. You're going to praise him when you go through another. You're going to say, Lord, I got some issues, but you're bigger than my issues. Can't live without it. So many people doubt it and don't know about it. He's my friend. He's my battle act. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the bright and morning star. He's the lily of the valley. He's the firstborn of the dead. In him is power. Healing power. Saving power. I'm dealing with some issues. I got some issues. But I got a God that loves me through my issues. Y'all look at your name and say, he loves me just like I am. Oh, country boy, over here standing in faith, worship, believers, church. Don't even supposed to be here, but his grace is abundant. His mercy is everlasting. If the devil would have had his way, I'd be somewhere six feet deep. But look at somebody. Everybody always say the devil should have killed you when he had a chance. He had a chance. But he couldn't take you out no way. You ever been in a fight and they were whooping you? And you say, if I can just get one more lick in, I can at least run. And you swung and hit that lick. You seen that person the next day. They said, man, I thought I had you, man. But you threw one of them water maker rights. And when you hit me, I had to stumble. I, I had to think about it. Wait a minute, I don't know if I can beat this dude or not. The devil tried to kill you, your family, and he tried to kill your anointing. But guess what God said? It won't prosper. I come to tell you, your issues ain't going to kill you. It's going to push you closer to God. Sambo in the family. Seem like he's out on the limb. You tell him about church, he frown. You tell him we're in church, he complains. You tell him you give your tithes, he say, you crazy. Sambo coming in. Only a matter of time, he's going to really see the real deal. Come let me say this, people with issues press. Anybody, anybody know what I'm saying? Gas hand low, I'm going to church anyway. Pocketbook trying to be funny, I'm going to church anyway. 
sister or so-and-so, brother so-and-so didn't like me, but guess what? I'm going anyway because my issue is going to push me to God. Y'all making me go there. Do you remember the one with the issue of blood? Why did he say she had an issue of blood? She was un- not supposed to come outside. She was unclean. She was pronounced unclean. Because she had an issue. But she said, if I could just touch. Oh, y'all look at somebody and say, if I could just get close enough to him. I don't really have to really touch him, but if I get close enough to him, it's something about him that'll draw me to him. If you get almost there, you'll know he'll pull you there. Twelve long years. Spent all the money at the doctors. And he said, woman, you got an issue. You, woman, you, you, you got an issue. And now, twelve-year issue. That's a long time to have an issue. And y'all know some of us don't want to stay stuck in the situation we are for twelve more years. You got to shake it this morning. I come to shake my issue this morning. And guess what I'm going to shake? I'm going to shake it to the breaker. The breaker is Jesus Christ. He can break everything. He can make all things new. Y'all stand with me. Stand with me. Stand with me. I'm, I'm telling you, y'all. We got some issues, y'all. Last day. Peerless time. Men are more lovers of themselves. Yeah, uh uh-huh, heady minded, unthankful, boastful, ungodly, unthankful, trice breakers, incontinence, fierce, all of these things, issues. And guess what? The bad thing about it is, is when people got issues, they want you to have issues. So when you come to church and you get free, first thing somebody asks you, what'd you hear in church? I heard I had an issue, and I left without an issue. And if you're an issue, I'm getting ready to say, cut it. I'm going to cut this here, y'all. Because, see, we have to understand Satan is the power of the air. Most of the time when I talk to people on the phone, and I always just say this because I believe somewhere or another, the devil's trying to listen to my conversation. So I make sure I throw an extra praise in there. Oh, Satan, if you're listening, praise God. Satan, if you listen, I plead the blood. Amen. Satan, if you listen, I'm a changed man. Satan, if you listen, guess what? There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but the spirit. Look at your neighbor and say, get in the spirit. That's the only way you can deal with issues, in the spirit. Because you come in the flesh, huh? the devil going to laugh at you. There he will. Like I said, Thursday night, we rebuke the devil all the time, tell him to go back to hell. He go back to hell and he come right back. Okay, I went down. I'm back now. What's up? You were telling him to stay down. But he went down and he did what you said. He said, I'm back now to make more trouble for you. This morning, doors of church open. Where the youth at? I want you to stand where you are, you. I want the youth to stand. All youth stand. Everybody's youth. I want the youth to stand. Now, for some of us people like me, I'm, a, I'm still a youth. But I just got some, I got some numbers on me. Okay, I'm a youth, but I got numbers on me. Amen. And those numbers substantiate the blessings of God. Y'all, I'm not ashamed of my age. I'm not ashamed of what God has done. Because like I said, it's by grace I'm standing here this morning. Man, I'm a Mikey. I tried everything that was out there. Everything. You put it out there, I tried. Thanks be to God, he loved me so much that when I didn't love him like he loved me, he protected me. He shielded me. And he knew I had some issues. My whole life, I ran from God. Even when I was in the world, the Lord was showing me. He was saying, son, you're different. And I was saying, I want to have my fun. I want to get out here and see what the world is like. I was like the prodigal son. I wanted my stuff. But one day I lifted up my eyes. I was down in the swine pen. I was laying with with the swine. And the Lord asked me, he said, do you want to come up? Do you want to come out? Do do, do you want to walk in the purpose that I've called for you to do? And I I did like the prophet. So I came to myself. I said, wait a minute. If you really think about it, there's servants in my father's house that work for my father living better than I am. 
And guess what happened? The Lord said, son, if you'll come home, I'm going to kill a calf. I'm going to put a ring on your finger. I'm going to have a party with you. Because I love you that much. Thank God my son was once lost, but now he is found. He found us, y'all. All of us. He found us in a place that we didn't want to be. And the only thing he said I want you to do is to get, gratify me, is to live for me and serve me. God never expects for us to be 100% perfect. Because guess what? He sent his son to perfect us. We got issues, y'all. I don't care how saved you are. I don't care how a form of godliness you got. You got some stuff in you that you didn't. Look, guess what? You didn't bargain for. You didn't ask for. You're stuck with it. You got to shake it to break it. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Out of it are the issues of life. It, the issues of life are going to come through those issues that put on your plate. The old lady said in the old church said, The Lord will put no more on you than you can bear. And I'm telling you, it's not scripture, but it's factual. The Lord will never put on you more than you can bear. He'll never send somebody to you you can't deal with. And it's been some folks sent my way. I had to scratch my head, scratch my heart, and scratch my pocketbook. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, I can love you through your issues. <laughs> 